here we are. Our team on the left side in the blue trunks. They are Team Liquid. And we have Falcon playing Sergeant Hammer in the bot lane. Grand Picate playing Rhaegar. In the mid lane, we have Vortex and Lucifron, and in the top lane, soloing it out, it is Black Scorp. The Their opponents the on the right hand side, in the red team colors, they are inside games Five, with four, Idax three, playing Sylvanas. Two, uh, das Grand Gecko, <laughs> oh jeez, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call him, Das, <laughs> just Das, I think I'm, I'm going for that, uh, he's playing Jaina and Jackal playing Zeratul in the mid lane and the triple stack will go down uh, in the bot lane with Thray playing Uther, Mikichi playing Anubarak and Hydex playing Savannas. And trying to hide down there, setting up a little bit of a trap. I think Falcon and Grand Piquete, they're not gonna have it. I'm gonna stick around here, place a couple mines down and see what they can uh, do from there. We might have a little bit of a switch. Uh, Abathur went to top lane and will now help out um, Illidan there against Jaina. And Grand Pateke and Falcon are just gonna stay back, um, try to do a little bit of damage, stop this pushing potential that's coming out here uh, for inside games. Ooh, nice little stun there onto Falcon, but he's behind the wall, he should be fine. Good disable here on the turrets here by Zavannas. Okay, Trump coming in, and they're going for Mikachi, but of course, with being the warrior, he can take quite a few hits and still be fine. And there, finally, Falcon setting up his defense. Let's have a look here in the mid lane. Our Lucifron is dealing with Jackal, but he's doing quite well so far. Nice little lane shifts here coming out of Abathur. Always switching back and forth, trying to help out whoever is most help, least most help. And that being Lucifron for now, but I think he might go for a switch once again, uh, depending on how they're doing down here in the bot lane. And so far, holding up quite well. Even going up against Mikachi once again. There comes a stun onto Falcon, but he just blasts him back. And stay safe, Grand Picate hiding up there, getting a little bit of help in from um, that healing totem. Uh, let's actually have a look here at the talents. Oh jeez, that's not what I wanted. Oh, did I forget? I think I forgot my uh, my hotkeys. Let's check them in game. Give me a sec here. Oh, maybe it's not set up correctly. Ooh, sorry about that. We'll have to fix that for the next game. Uh, we'll just check here. We'll just check here. Abathur uh, went for Pressurized Glance and going for Adrenal Overlord now. Uh, down here, of course, we have the Healing Totem. No choice for his level 4 skill. Shadow Shield and Immolation on Illidan. And Block on ETC and Echo Pedal. And, of course, the uh, Distance Increase here for Sergeant Hammer. Zeratul going for Regen Master and Portal Blade. And we should check out since the first tribute is coming up. And Blackstop is the only one for Team Liquid for now, but Grand Picate coming in to help out. And they're just stalling at this point. Aberfur and ETC still being in lane, and so is Sergeant Hammer. So they're just gonna stall this for as long as they can. And I guess with this combination, they can do this for quite some time. And Jekyll actually taking quite a bit of damage here, and they pop him down. Blackstop needs to get out of that fight, though. He's quite low. And there was the help from Abathur, and he actually kept him alive, but wow, he's staying in that fight for a really long time. They want to get that kill on Uther, but uh, it's not going to happen. And this is definitely the power of a experienced team you see here. Um, getting that tribute, even though it's 2 versus 3, and that was pretty incredible, especially here by Black Scorp, for stake, sticking around for such a long time uh, without getting, getting pushed down. And starting to materialize in their level advantage now. Almost one level advantage for Team Liquid. Sergeant Hammer had to port back down in bot lane and she already took quite a bit of damage here in this bot lane. But it shouldn't shouldn't matter too much. Let's have a look at the talents once again. Level 7 is now available for Team Liquid. Going for Vile Nest here is Vortex. And then we have the Earth Shield by Rhaegar. Double first aid on Illidan and Sergeant Hammer. And Battle Momentum taken by ETC. Once again, a little bit of a push down here, but Grand Picadee coming in to stop him. And it looks like they're not gonna pursue this. Oh, there we go. At least got that fixed up again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Level 7 now coming in for inside games as well. 
Uh, we had the Vorpal Blade, now the Syrian attacks coming in for Zeratul. There's Envenom on Sylvanas and the follow through. Leaving a little bit of more damage for basic attacks. Protective Shield uh, available for Uther alongside Clairvoyance, giving a little bit of extra map vision. So they have Arcane Intellect on Jaina. Jaina seems like it has kind of uh, annoying. And we have Frostbitten on Jaina, and there's the Bed of Barbs on a Moonbrag alongside Legion of Beetles. And they're pushing the bot lane quite well. Falcon and Grand Picate are in position, but they might need some help here with the Sea Giants. Those Sea Giants stay alive for a long time, they could actually deal with these towers quite well, and being, being with Sylvanas definitely helps out quite a bit as well. There's the Disable, and Grand Picate, oh, he's gonna be able to deal with these Sea Giants if they're not gonna boost them up. Ooh, next tribute is coming in. It, it is in a perfect spot for inside games. Yeah, hiding in the bushes, uh, at least Mikachi is, but it looks like he might just want to stall Rhaegar here. He's coming in, seeing them, but not gonna stop it. Ooh, ETC was taken out. Nice move here. Really cool move. That should give him an advantage to go for the tribute. Here comes the clairvoyance. Can I push Grand Pekate out? Oh, he's in a bad spot. Can he get away from this? Oh, this is really troublesome. It looks like he just wants to draw him out. Falcon's coming in from the back there. And he's pushing them back. I don't know how they can do this. I mean, it's 5 versus 4, but Mikachi is going to be popped here. And Grand Pekate quite low, but still going for Savannah's and getting her down as well. Uther popped, and that's a turnaround for Team Liquid. Well, the problem is, if you're level 9 versus level 10... You can't really take that fight, even if it's 4 versus 5. Um, those heroics definitely, definitely bring you down. And there comes the counter push here with the curse by Falcon and Lucifer in the bot lane. And Rhaegar taking the mid lane. Uh, Jekyll is the only one defending here, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Abathur is helping him out. And there we go, he's going in. Up lane, the only thing that's not being pushed, but they already got that fort, so they're in a good spot right there. And Jaina once again taken out here. Wow, Lucifron really on fire. Next one going on, Uther. Wow, Illidan's pushing this really hard alongside Vortex here. Oh, jumping over the top, and Jackal is in trouble. There comes the follow through, and can he jump on him once again? Nope, Jackal should be fine. We have Black Scout behind enemy gates now, and he should take out that gate, otherwise he might be in trouble. Still pushing back here, and they're doing that double push thing in the bot lane. We have Sergeant Hammer going for it. Oh, Black Scorp is surrounded, and he's going for us to road to save himself. The gate is down, so he should maybe should, should not be able to get away. Even though he, they do have three level a uh, three level advantage, but that's not going to be enough. And then Lucifer and Falcon still sticking around. They should think about this once again. I mean, Hydax is coming in ooh, quite low. Can they get that final blow? No, it doesn't look like it, but Falcon will pop, and Lucifer is in trouble. There comes that Blizzard coming in on top, and Mikachi coming down from the left side. Can they go for him? Looks like they can. And those are the kills that Inside Games needs to come back, make that comeback possible. Run Pikachu in there, and yep, he's going down. I don't know exactly where Rhaegar came from here, but that was a nice little turnaround, uh, getting at least two kills out of this. Now with three heroes down, they need to make something happen. Uh, go for their mercs, uh, clear those lanes, and try try to go for a little bit of counter-aggression, but let's see. Do they have the time to go for the boss? I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, Team Liquid almost back in their full strength. Um, yeah, turning around, going for the siege, uh, for the Boozer camp instead. Uh, definitely a great idea here. Well, definitely a great idea. And there we go. Uh, pushing back in these lanes. But Team Liquid, not sitting idle either. They're going for their own boozer camp. Or are they? Yeah, nope, going for the boss. Have ETC pushing in the bot lane. And just checking out what Inside Games is doing. They still have a two level advantage and a very crucial one that um, they do have that level 13. Which is not available, or not quite available for Inside Games just yet. Giant Killer um, is there for Sergeant Hammer. We have six cents on Illidan. Fear Lunch taken by Rhaegar. Soma Transference for Abathur. And the Uber Rockstar on Sergeant Hammer. And of course, Inside Games was not in position to stop that boss from being taken. 
Oh, sorry about any lags. I don't know. Um, probably Twitch servers acting up. Um, I might be able to switch servers uh, after this game. And of course, um, it will be uploaded to YouTube later on. So if you did miss it or uh, lags are just too crazy, uh, you can watch it again on my YouTube channel. Which you find the links for uh, below the stream. And, whoa. Uh, kind of unsure what to go for here inside games. Um, should have probably killed that boss before it did too much damage, but now they have to face another boss. Their own was stolen here by Team Liquid. And are they gonna supply that boss with a little bit more pushing power? Or just gonna split push it? Uh, it looks like a split push. Inside game's completely out of position right now, and this gives Team Liquid the chance to go for that mid lane, take out the towers, take out the gates, and then possibly even storm up and go for the key. But inside games still fighting with the boss, but they're in a better position now to defend their mid key. I think they should be able to at least do something about it. Still, three level disadvantage. That's that's definitely a biggie. Oh, Hydox in a really offensive position. I don't know if this, that's a good spot for her to be in. And talking about good spots, Falcon having an excellent position there on that keep. Pretty much took it out all by himself. And there was no way for Inside Games to actually engage into Team Liquid here. Now, just clearing out these few remaining walls, buying themselves a little bit of time, putting on some pressure. They don't want Inside Games to get out of their keep and clear these lanes, get get those ex get that XP back in. And they're just gonna keep him occupied. And look at this, Vortex just single-handedly going for the tribute by himself. This would usually be really dangerous, but the thing is, there's three levels ahead, and he's not doing it anyways. But hey, oh, Team Liquid. Uh, was a little bit surprised over here, and Vortex actually going down there, but it doesn't really matter. He was still in his ultimate form. Jackal popped, and Uther, the only one remaining, and looks like he can make his getaway happen. But that was definitely a close call. They kind of surprised Team Liquid, but the problem is, if you're behind three levels, the only way to actually get back up in XP, get back up in levels, is to pick up single heroes, and full on team engages are not gonna work here, so Team Liquid. It's gonna take this quarterfinal, move on into the semi-final of the Zotec Heroes of the Storm monthly final April 2015.